So today's our objective is to learn about the process of wound healing in mammals, basically the humans. So the human body is a complex machine. The dynamic process of wound healing is a great example of how our body systems along with the proper wound care products like creams uh, work together to repair the devitalized tissues. When the skin is injured or got any cut by any mistake, our body sets into a motion of automatic series of events, often referred as a cascade of healing. Means uh, when our body got hurt by something or got a cut by knife or any other thing, many uh, things happen to at that area. Means many processes start at that area by the action of many, uh, many cells and tissues. So which we will go through in this video. So the process of uh, Wound, uh, wound healing involves four processes first is hemostasis phase and second is defensive or inflammatory phase third is proliferative phase and fourth is the maturation phase so first we will discuss about the hemostasis phase it is the first stage of healing which uh, started just after you know, the uh, cut has been got on your hand or any other part of the body uh, its main objective is to stop the bleeding which happening which is happening after getting the cut or by heart which has been got on your body part during this phase, the emergency repair system activates and uh, the after the activation of the blood clotting system, the platelets, which are basically responsible for the clotting of blood, uh, come in contact with the collagens. Uh, I mean, collagens are basically the primary structural components of the connective tissues and the skins. So, during the process of clotting, the fibrinogens in the presence of the enzyme thrombin forms the fibrins, which later on forms the clot. This clot is nothing but the coagulum, which uh, which is uh, generally black in color, which you have ever seen after you have uh, gotten cut and uh, ha uh, have seen some hard uh, black color uh, tissue. Uh, that is nothing but the thrombin, which is formed by the fibrin uh, fibrins. The enzyme thrombin is uh, produced by the prothrombin in the presence of another enzyme known as thrombokinase. So after the formation of the fibrins, that fibrin forms the coagulum and that covers that part which stops the bleeding. Its a main fun uh, its main uh, work is to stop the bleeding which is happening due to the injury. After the end of the first stage, it comes to, uh, it comes to the second stage, which is the defensive stage. Defensive means uh, that uh, defensive uh, basically refers to the protection from other um, uh, means uh, outer uh, environment or uh, things uh, like uh, getting infection by another organism or any microorganisms. In this uh, in this uh, in this phase, our blood cells will act and they will kill the bacteria or enzymes which have got uh, uh, means uh, which have. Uh, which have found the open area as it, there is a cut on the skin it is exposed to the outer area so here the macrophages and some white blood cells will uh, will work and kill them in order to protect us from the infection so in this phase the neutrophils enter the wound to destroy the bacteria and remove the debris debris is nothing but the uh, uh, rashes or skin uh, means skin tissues which are extra on that uh, due to the injury and other uh, impurities are there the, uh, which have got uh, by the uh, by the thing which you have got the injury neutrophils will be at their peak amount means the, they will be present and they are at a very uh, great cluster at uh, the after the 24 to 48 hours of the injury means after the 48 24 to 48 hours uh, the neutrophil cells will be present in large amount at that uh, place of injury and after the three days of the injury their number will be decreased because at the till then the pro clot has been properly formed and that place is not uh, more exposed to the outer environment and hence there's not a more much possibility of uh, getting any infection so their uh, amount will be reduced so after leaving of the neutrophils the macrophages enter and they, uh, they also clear the debris and uh, also releases some growth factors like uh, tnf alpha and vascular endothelial factor vezf and some proteins also this stage is uh, generally marked by the endema uh, like swell endema means f uh, swelling of that uh, area and also erythema like a red redness of the uh, redness of skin at that part uh, and uh, heat and some pain also so here is the end of the second uh, phase and now the third phase which is the proliferative phase starts so after the cleaning means uh, at, at the first and second phase there the cleaning of the uh, cleaning of some debris so after the cleaning the filling of the wound starts at this stage this stage involved in the filling of the wound and second contraction of the wound margins means uh, the margin which have been created by the thing which have got uh, penetrated over the skin and uh, separated them apart that uh, margins will be again joined together by this uh, in this in this phase 
and also the covering the wound like means epithelialization will also occur in this stage so the wound will be filled by the shiny deep red granulation tissue which fills the wound bed with connective tissues means connective tissue means joining tissues and also the new blood cells will be formed in this phase this phase lasts from the fourth day to 24th day of the wound so here comes the last stage which is the maturation stage which occurs uh, which occurs after the 24 uh, 21st to uh, which can last to two years also because uh, it depends upon the uh, um, uh, amount of uh, wound which we have got uh, like uh, bigger wounds uh, last up to two years and smaller wounds will be get uh, healed in early time in this phase uh, nothing much happens but the strengthening of the new tissue occurs uh, when it gets matures and flexible it also become flexible collagen fibers uh, reorganize the tissue remodels and matures and there is an overall increase in the tensile strength of the tissue